Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome back. Fabio here. A great day in the markets yesterday. The dollar pairs have been doing exactly as we wanted. If we look at your USD, first of all, we can see that that squeezing descending pattern in towards the downside pretty much played out to absolute perfection. As we can see yesterday, we were focusing on the overall fractal high here inside of this piece of structure. We broke that fractal high, we retraced in towards pretty much this imbalance candle, and from there we continued our way up. So what I'm looking for the rest of today is a slightly higher move in towards at least this area of supply. Once we reach that area of supply, we will be looking to see how we react, and then from there we will potentially get a further downside movement or will we break it and then move up higher in towards, of course, the higher areas of supply over here. So that is what I'm looking for the rest of today. Um, yeah, some nice longs could have been taken here from the lows. Now going in towards the dollar index, and I'm not going to spend too much time on your USD because there were some other pairs looking better. The dollar index did exactly as well what we wanted. Remember what I mentioned about kind of like the ascending price action. We took out the high, took out the low. We retraced, got the demand, uh, got the supply, and then just yes, yeah, started tanking in towards the downside. And as you guys know, we reached this level over here. So still waiting for the dollar index to move slightly down lower. Um, I mean, most of the times when you see, let's say, this liquidity low or the lowest low of kind of like this pattern gets swiped and you see an aggressive v-shaped reaction then uh, it is likely that we're not going to move all the way back down in towards demand and you can kind of see the lows as an area of demand in this particular situation i'm just going to be waiting so far as i can see from this price action that we're going to be hitting this overall lower level at around 105 500 so that's what I'm waiting for on the dollar index. Now moving on in towards AUD USD, that's where I had a long yesterday, um, which I also shared as a signal inside uh, the premium uh, link in the description down below. So overall, what we saw yesterday, and I explained this as well in detail, uh, we reached an area of daily demand. So keep in mind, this is also four hour demand over here on Aussie dollar, and we had a BOS a break of structure. So after break of structure, and after reaching a higher time frame area of demand, what do we expect? We expect a pullback. When you expect a pullback, after something called a change of character. So over here, we had the change of character. So what happened is that we broke the low over here, then after that we broke the high, which broke this low, meaning that overall you saw a boom, 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 and then a boom. So a lot of booms, and then after that we tap back in towards this demand zone over here. So the imbalance which caused the high break over here, and then from there I was looking to go long in towards the upside. So that was pretty much that. Uh, on Aussie dollar. So uh, this morning we've been moving further in towards the highs. However, very choppy price action, not as strong as a trend of, of a trend as your USD. Remember what I mentioned in yesterday's video, guys. This is where the liquidity lies. So now we've pretty much taken out the liquidity. Um, so it could be that we see a fifth downside movement, but I'm just going to be holding this at break even. Uh, we've now pushed in towards this supply zone, remember. Uh, but we still have, for example, this supply zone, which is still fresh and open. So that will be my first target uh, for profit taking. So that is Aussie dollar. So far, as long as the 15 minute bullish trend holds, we should continue up higher. Uh, looking at the four hour, uh, we could even move all the way up in towards this fresh area of supply and then use this as a liquidity high. That is my preferred uh, kind of like outcome. So let's see and let's wait. Uh, just holding strong um, pretty much that uh, until we don't really see any shift in the overall structure. Uh, do we still expect further upside? So moving on in towards pound dollar because pound dollar was actually one of the most beautiful ones and did exactly, exactly as we said. Remember guys, we came in towards demand, we've seen a break of structure again, this black line, we saw a break of structure, we come in towards daily demand, then what happens on the lower time frame is that we start squeezing in towards the lows, right? So on the one hour, for example, we'd be far more clear. So we come squeezing in towards the lows, we break structure in towards the highs, boom, and then remember what we mentioned yesterday, this is your area of demand. And then from there, you could have gone long. So yeah, some very nice price action, not the best 15 minute price action, if I look at this, by the way, hence why I didn't take anything. But um, still, very nice to see how perfectly the overall uh, pattern was playing out, the descending wedge, and how demand actually also did its thing. So based on the four hour, you could now be in this trade, because overall, uh, the overall fractal high is over here. So we break the fractal high, then we come back in towards this imbalance, this area of demand. So based on the four hour, you could also take this trade. And then you would be in it like this with your stop loss beneath the low. And you would have been um, 
let's say at your peak, you would be up around 1.2%. Um, so yeah, you can still at least hold it all the way up in towards, let's say a one to two risk to reward, in my opinion. But again, uh, it is a little bit consolidative. So do keep that in mind at the moment, I wouldn't like get into any long as of now. But uh, yeah, as we can look over here, we're just consolidating and we're now at the high of the range. So if you're in, fantastic. Um, let's see if we react very nicely this morning to this area of demand over here after taking out the liquidity which rests underneath this trend line. So maybe something like this. Uh, so let's see if we see kind of like a structural shift inside that 15 minute area of demand for a potential long. If we start breaking these lows over here, then I do think we'll just continue down lower maybe or we grab the liquidity below the lows again. So that is pound dollar moving on in towards NZD USD. So NZD USD uh, going in towards the four hour. So the four hour here did pretty much as well will be explained uh, when it comes to like the four hour change of character. So remember guys, four hour change of character low right over here. Then what happens is that we break the four hour change of character high, we push up, we push back down in towards this bearish candle over here, which is your demand. Tap in, boom, tap out again. Um, so yeah, NCD USD has now reached the first area of supply. Let's see and wait uh, if we get a change of character from here. This is currently your change of character low, the low of this bearish candle. If we break that, you could start looking for shorts. Otherwise, just use this as a liquidity high and it's likely that we'll push in towards this supply zone. Um, if we just continue the overall trend and see a strong bullish candle close this morning above this high and then just continue to look for longs, although it is getting riskier and riskier due to us being in supply. So yeah, longs until we break structure. Uh, last for gold, uh, took a nice gold long yesterday morning, by the way, uh, shared as well in the community, uh, around 2% uh, profit. Uh, I did on that at its peak, it was around 2.5%, I think. Uh, if you would have held on for longer, but it went up for much, much longer even. So uh, caught that long uh, overall going in towards the four hour time frame. What can we see? Well, we kind of did what I, and again, you can just go into yesterday's video, but we kind of did what I mentioned and we went a little bit lower to grab the liquidity, uh, which was resting underneath uh, these lows over here. So we grabbed all of that, now reversing back in towards the highs, breaking structure over here. So what I'm looking at for the rest of today is pretty much just my main focus is on the four hour time frame. So I'm just gonna be keeping gold extremely simple, focusing on market structure only, and pretty much demand of course. So we've tapped in towards this demand zone, okay? So from this demand, we should continue up higher because the overall structure is just bullish from let's say this low in towards this high. Now, I want the fractal structure to align with that bullish structure and with this area of demand. So we need now this high to get broken. Boom, boom, just wait for this if you want on the four hour for a high probability play. Um, so that is it, very simply said. So just wait for a fractal change of character, break this high, pull back, beautiful sell for the buy that would be, and then look for a new higher high to be created. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you a fantastic day and speak inside Discord. Thanks.